Okay, so I'm gonna explain the layers in crypto. So layer one is the foundation that other things are built on. So try and imagine them like properties, for example, on a new build housing estate. So you've got Bitcoin, there's their foundation, and that's layer one. Ethereum, there's their foundation, layer one. XRP, Ripple, layer one. HBAR, Adira Hashgraph's HBAR is layer one. And there's DAG, uh, Constellations DAG in this, in this instance, but yeah, so there's Constellations DAG. And they're a foundation, they're layer one. On top of those foundations, so on top of Bitcoin's foundation, or Ethereum's foundation, or XRP, you can build things. Uh, in, these, in the real world, it would be a house on that you'd build on the foundation, but in the digital world, or in, in cryptocurrency, you build apps. So Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be, uh, uh, Tinder, you can build those uh, uh, properties, those apps, those properties on the foundations. Now, one of the problems with the current system that we have is that it's very, very difficult to go from one property to the other. So it's really, really tough. So if you've got Bitcoin and you want Ethereum, you've got to leave Bitcoin, you've got to get off this platform, you've got to walk down the street and you've got to go into Ethereum. Uh, it's very hard to sit in Bitcoin and trade direct for Ethereum. You have to go into something else, you know, onto the pavement and then into, into the house. Now, this is zero layer and zero layer sits under all of the layer ones. So it sits under the foundation of DAG, it sits under the foundation of HBAR, it sits under the foundation of Ripple, and so on and so forth. It actually, it's a tunnel that communicates, allows communication between each one of these and sits on it, and everything can be built on top of uh, the layer one. So this is layer two. Layer two can be built on layer one. And what this, the, what zero layer claim is that all platforms, all layer ones can be built on the zero layer and it'll allow that and the reason that's important is because it allows communication between each of the uh, uh, platforms the layer ones without uh, having to leave so for example if you didn't have the zero layer to go from bitcoin to ethereum you have to come out of the house walk down the street it's raining you get wet and you've got to go into Ethereum. And in real life, that, uh, that's, that's the example, but in real life it means you've got to sell your Bitcoin for something like USDT, hold the USDT, and then buy Ethereum. You've got to trade, rather than going from Bitcoin to HBAR, HBAR to uh, Ripple. So the, the zero layer allows not just the communication, not just to, to transact between the two directly, but it also uh, allows information to change hands. So you could take, for example, uh, photos that you have currently got stored on the Constellation Network over to the Hashgraph, over to Hedera Hashgraph, and you can do that seamlessly without a middleman. And that was the whole point of cryptocurrency in the first place, which is why this is so beautiful. Rather than uh, it being built on top and it sort of being clumsy, uh, like an exchange, like Binance or something that takes the money, changes it uh, for you, and then gives you back something else, and it's clumsy, and there's a middleman and fees and so on and so forth. The whole point of cryptocurrency is to take away, take out the middleman wherever possible. And zero layer, in theory at least, does exactly that. So I hope that makes sense. This is the different layers. So just once again, zero layer sitting along the entire thing. Layer one's built on top of the zero layer. And then all of the apps and the developments on layer two are the houses built on top of the foundation. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.